The following portion of Daytime Blue Ridge is sponsored by Divorce is never easy to navigate, which is why speaking to a professional is crucial, especially when it comes to custody and visitation rights involving children. Two different types of custody. Uh, the first is legal custody. Legal custody has to do with who has input into the major decisions in the child's life. Like for example, uh, religious upbringing, school choice, and some medical decisions. Uh, physical custody primarily has to do with who has the child with them um, during any given overnight, which is how the court measures uh, custody and the number of overnights per year. Most people come in and ask for advice about sole legal custody uh, or sole custody of their children. And the likelihood is that that is not going to happen absent some really serious circumstances. The most common arrangements are joint legal custody and with regard to primary physical custody there is typically some sort of uh, arrangement where one party is the primary physical custodian and the other party has some overnight visitation, mm -hmm. some ratio of overnight visitation around 25 to 50 percent. You never need an attorney. Uh, let me rephrase that. Um, it, I always say it's a good idea for people to have an attorney when they go into juvenile domestic relations court in front of a judge. Um, it is a court. It does follow rules of evidence, and those can be difficult for people who haven't had the training in the law uh, and in trial work to follow and abide by. And unfortunately, what happens is if you don't have an attorney and the other side does, that can be a very, very difficult place for you to be in terms of being successful in your case. There's three or four types of physical custody. Um, there's sort of the sole physical custody where one parent has the child for every overnight during the year. Uh, there's uh, primary physical custody where one parent has a child for at least 75% of the overnights in any given year. Then there's shared custody where neither party has any more than 75% of the overnights during any given year. That's more of a of a child is with both parents for relatively equal amount of time uh, arrangement. Um, some people use the term split custody to describe 50-50 uh, arrangement, but that is sort of a misnomer because what happens is that that term is actually defined under the law as, some, as describing something different and primarily has to do with uh, situations where multiple children are split between two parents. By law in Virginia, there's no preference in favor of either parent. Um, neither parent has any sort of presumption in their favor. Uh, it used to be that, that for a period of time when the child was very young, there was a, a preference in favor of the mother uh, under the law, and that has been um, removed from the law, and there's been an affirmative statement placed into the code that says neither parent has a presumption in their favor. If you want more information, uh, I would encourage you to visit my website. I have a blog uh, where I list uh, or where I write a lot of um, uh, entries about the various aspects of custody and visitation in Virginia uh, along with the other areas of family law. Uh, but I also have a book that's available on Amazon and uh, it's available right now for order in paperback and in Kindle uh, form. The book is also available through my website www.ashtonlawoffice.com if you're on Facebook, Ashton Law Office also has a page on Facebook where I often post my blog entries. Um, if you're interested in following the blog, that's a good place to go to uh, ensure that you are getting the latest information from the blog. So feel free to follow us on Facebook and get that information that way too.